Yeah, jambo vipi? Eh, sana. So, um, kwa show uh, leo tuko na jamaa anaitwa DJ Hai. Karibu niite DJ Kali Dole. <laughs> Sasa mimi na niko DJ. Ngoja, niko na majina mengi. Majina ni mengi sana. Yeah. Depending unataka ku ni refer wapi? Uh-huh. Yeah. So, DJ Production. Hmm. Producer mm-hmm. Khalid. Producer Khalid. Uh-huh. Kama DJ, uh-huh. Naitwa DJ Bebs. Ah, DJ Bebs. Yes. Sasa mbona jina kichana hiyo liita Bebs? Kama ule amua tu. Eh, kama ni ku change style. Kila mtu anajiita jina tofauti. Hiyo initonga initonga. Ajoi Bebs si haina 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 Ni Bebs ya Bebs Bebs. B E B Z. Oh. Yenye oh. yenye mke wako anaweza <laughs> kuita Bebs pia. <laughs> Simki yako na kuita Bebs. Lakini sasa yake ni B E B E S. Ah, okay. Yeah. Tuk tuk pronunciation tu wacha na na, na spellings wenye na ina inaandikwa. Uh-huh. Mke yako sana kuita Bebs. Uh-huh. Wewe ni msichana. Ah, uh, by the kweli okay, na make sawa. sense. So, neto so, DJ uh, Bebs. <laughs> I hope or uh, I see you there. Ni kweli au kweli? Ni true 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 story true story kabisa. Uh, tangulini, tangulini, tangu mwaka. I think it was um, it's about six months mm. since ni 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 yeah, ni, 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 ni jina. Because at mm. first, nikuwa ni mecha product, ni, uh, ni kwa na na mekosete na production. Mm-hmm. So when I started DJing, mm-hmm. that's where uh, I decided to separate into fortish um, the producer and the mm-hmm. DJ. Okay. Yes. Mimi nimekujua kama eh, Khalid. Yes, yes, na yes. Um, of course umekuwa producer for a long time Mombasa watu wanakujua yeah. eh, kusukuma wasanii na vitu kama hizo. Yeah. So now karibu kwa kwa show ya gospel hapa mm-hmm. na najua eh, probably hii ni show moja ya kipekee haujaweza kupatana na watu wanaleta kwa show ya kipekee. Bado <laughs> Show gospel sasa. Hapo ndio nasema Mungu eh, acha eh, itwe Mungu. Ya Mungu ni mengi umeelewa. Mm. Mm. So sasa swali yangu ni moja. Ndio. One najua lazima kwanza ni kuanzishie saidi ya mziki. Mziki wa gospel ulikufa huko au what's going on? Mziki kufa au zikufa? Mziki eh, si kama binadamu sema za kufa na nini kitu chenye. Tuseme tu saa hizi hauna umaarufu wenye ulikuwa nao kitambo. Mm-hmm. Umaarufu wako umeshuka. Mm-hmm. Uh, ukilinganisha mwaka 2010, 2011 mm-hmm. paka kama 2014. Mm-hmm. Uh, ungepita mahali inche tu kwenye muziki unachezwa. Mm-hmm. Uh, kama si hapa the next place unge, ungepita ni kwa ni gospel song inacheza. Uh-huh. Ukipita kwa radio ama kwa TV nyimbo ya kwanza ya pili utasikia ni gospel kichwezo. So ni wapi kulienda wrong? Um vitu vingi vilikuwa wrong, especially the media wali entertain mediocrity. Uh-huh. Wali kubali unajua sasa ni imani as in wa Kenya wali feel ni imani ya inachezea kwa sababu wale wasanii wa gospel wenye uh-huh. ama nyimbo za gospel zenye zilifaa kwa za gospel uh-huh. zilikuwa na medi, me, me, eh, mediocrity zilikuwa na mchezo mwingi wenye watu wali feel kama wana 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 kwa emotional nasemaje yani ni gospel lakini si gospel si Yesu amevaa pampas si Yesu anafanya nini <laughs> siji nyimbo zenye sasa wewe kama msanii uh, ambaye of course uh, hujafanya gospel eh, as a producer general mm. producer yes, yes. so mtu amekuja ni huu ni msanii mm. anakuambia mimi ni msanii do you usually ask when by gospel or lazima niimbe na mara yeah. nyingi kama ni gospel yeah. Lazima awe ameamini kama hajaamini simu record. Spirit chezi ya. Si che si record gospel mbwakini. As in hawa yani wenye msanii anavuta bangi uko na record gospel. Ah wewe <laughs> Mr. K story. Tuimbe za mapenzi. Mm pesa is not everything for me. Uh, mimi sasa kosa la pesa hawezi manipulate na pesa. Yeah. Ni tuseme tunafanya kitu tuakubaliane but not na because sasa utaezaje uta tell hii ni hii ni gospel just kuna imba utasikia na imba msanii ah sawa hata imba utasikia hata lugha na utumia hata venye anazo uh, v- 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 court ni mm-hmm. record ma cd lie mm-hmm. eh, gospel wengine wengine kije miwa na anakata kwa sababu mm-hmm. na feel anachezea Mungu mju mm, content yenye haiko na titi mwenyewe tabia zake na everything yake hai hata it makes sense kando okay i don't judge the artist 
mm-hmm. the message matters mm-hmm. most of this uh, new generation artists mm-hmm. ya yeah, kisa cha Willie kuja huko mbele mm-hmm. hakuna content so hakuna is it that content. why wa Kenya wame <coughs> kama wamedharau gospel to some hawajadharau wa Kenya ni kuwa walichoka kwa sababu media imewa feed na hiyo content yenye haiwajengi kiroho na is is gospel only the young people ama what about Jemima Kiongo nani si people are still there ama kuna kwanga na generation generational change eh? mm-hmm. so kama saizi mtoto alizaliwa 192010 leo na miaka mingapi eh 2010 leo na kwanga 13 years ndio alizaliwa 2010 13 years eh yeah, nafikiri 13 so watoto 13 years leo they will identify <coughs> vizuri na watu wa millennials bado yeah mziki wao tabia zao na kuta mtu sahi mwenye 25 years yes. r- ni role model wa mtu wa 13 years mhm unaelewa jema mationgo na ile sisi na kitambo mm-hmm. ni ya watu ya wa 80s na wa 90s mwisho but you see m- m- music is a continuing thing yes. i know i know don moen uh-huh. don moen ameimba all his life eh? na hata wa leo na hit what wacha nikutumie hii example kwa nini unafikiria don moen hadi wa leo na hit Um, what, is, what is the secret? Sasa wale wasanii wa kitambo mm. uh, kuna wenye wamebahatika tuseme mm. wameenda na miziki yao wameweza kuitunga ina cut through generations. Mm-hmm. Uh, kuna msanii leo ukimtajia mtu anga huyu alikuwa kitambo. Mhm. Paka leo anaimba kinao one cares eh? mm-hmm. It's because labda alistick kule nyuma. Na kuna mwenye bado anaweza kuwa 80 years 70 years mm. lakini mziki wake una appeal paka leo so amejizolea mashabiki wa kitambo na mpaka wa leo. Mm-hmm. So kuna wenye wali stack 1925. Mhm. Hawajakuja kwa mbele. So utakuta kijana mwenye mzee leo 2013 20 ngapi eh na ngona kwambia after kama 10 years kuna kuna generational change. Mm-hmm. This generational change ina determine sana kizazi kipya kinachofuata cha uh, role models and everything. Mm-hmm. So shida ni kuwa wasanii wazuri wa kitambo wako lakini huwezi ambie mtoto wa miaka 20 sasa hizi umpele the songs za ziko zenye zina make sense kwake uh, like the kina shusho kina zile kitambo kitambo but kuna zenye kwake hazita resonate vizuri mm. lakini uko mpa msanii mwenye ni mjang sasa hizi anaimba anaweza identify na yeye rahisi aka follow rahisi aka kwa idol wake na akamshawishi pakubwa kuliko ile wa kitambo sasa tuzungumzie kiki siku hizi kila mtu wako kwa kiki kutengeneza Uh, PR flani siji wewe amefanya amefanya umetrend what do you have to say this especially on the gospel aspect what waimbaji wa nyimbo za injili kiki ni muhimu kusukuma wimbo kwanza kiki ni nini kiki ni kutengeza matukio ambayo yatafanya uongelewe mm-hmm. so kiki on its own haina ubaya wote awe msanii wa gospel awe pastor awe nani swali ni so anafanya eh Swali so, ni anafanya nini? Anaongelewa kivipi? Si unaelewa. So, uh, kwa sababu okay. kama mimi ni pasta kwa mfano. Mm-hmm. Alafu kiki yangu ni negative mm-hmm. kwa mfano. Labda mimi ndakaniongelea, basi nitachukua mke wangu. Na, na, kwa mfano mimi nisemeni pasta. Sasa anafanya kiki fulani, zuri mara ma helicopter, mara PR mingi. Sasa tukio kwa mfano tu mzuri, labda mimi ni pasta yeah. na ndakaa tu anaongelea. Mimi ndachukua mke wangu. Mm-hmm. Uh, Twende naye mahali fulani labda tufanye vitu fulani. Mm-hmm. Eh, ni alike media kisirisiri wapige picha wazi post kwa mfano mm-hmm. so then zikiwa negative wanapenda zile za za negative ni kuwa tu watu no sio ni role model watu wengi wanafuatia so kwa mfano tuseme your favorite pasta uh, au na mke wake wameenda pengine holiday tuseme wanajienjoy wenyewe the picha kiki si lazima hiyo si kuwa negative hapana ah, sasa watu wanafanya zile negative zofanya vitu ndio pengine sijui hapana si kweli ni kuwa mm. kuna role models wenye watu wana follow na hawafanyi kitu negative kila siku wapo wapo uh, utap, utakuta watu wanafuata kila kona kwa mfano hata diamond ni mmoja wa sanii wenye watu wana, wana, wana media kila kona kienda na mfata mm. uh, lakini naye atakike kuzifanya zake nza wake na wake wa bibi zake utana shadona shini nini mm. but not the negatives wenye Kenyans will want to kufanya kuta mkenya sengine anataka toa nyimbo anataka toa habari za uongo si, vitu zenye ni negative tu zenye mm. si sawa so kiki mimi si sema ni mbaya kwa sababu mm. inafanya watu wa kuongelea mm-hmm. e, media blogs kuongelea unapata marafu zaidi 
mm-hmm. na watu wanakufuatilia kwa karibu zaidi so mm-hmm. ni kitu imetumika kwa kila mtu imagine mm-hmm. kwa kwanza hiyo kina Michael Jackson hiyo time yeye yeah, angeandika ngona vya nyangitoka angevonya amevaa anafanya attack ngo for ondisha habari but labda yeye ndio amewaita naelewa <laughs> kama Kanye West akutashia amevaa vaje nini 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 mm-hmm. anatembezi mapicha zinapostiwa kwani ondisha habari wanajuaje Kanye West anatoka safari fulani na sasa <clears throat> wewe ni wewe ni Mkristo au Muislamu au uko toko katikati ndio nijue na kuuliza maswali kuu mimi ngo hapo katikati hapo <laughs> katikati ni wapi Uh, okay sana, mimi uh-uh. mimi kitu siko mimi mimi natumia mm. uh, common sense mm-hmm. yenye watu wengi watumia when comes to religion watu wengi wanatumia wanatumia mm. wanatumia niseme aje niseme inaitwa ngaje yani uh, um, kwa mtu kama ni catholic mm. akiambiwa kwa mfano nita mtu mfano simanishi akiambiwa catholic afai kucheka mm. yeye atauliza kwa nini afai kucheka Mhm. Tatsema mimi mimi sisi tunaruhusiwa tucheke ama sisi tutaambiwa tusicheke. Bas. Mimi on the other hand mm-hmm. nataka kujua kwa nini na imeandikwa wapi mm-hmm. na e, e, implication yake ni gani. Mm-hmm. So I'll go deeper than that. Mm-hmm. So na, na kwa ngana liberal mind yenye mm-hmm. naweza ku demystify huyu mtu ni muongo alidanganya mm-hmm. ama e, nia yake ilikuwa ni hii yenye haiko rooted to the bible. So sasa uh, so mosso i should say unatumia more of logic uh, yeah. to look at mandishi yale yale but not the principle bendemo mweziweka maana ya makanisa ukiangalia most of them na zinyi happen leo without kutumia logic uta watu watako exploit ama like uh, unaweza sometimes ka give up kwa sema structure ya kanisa but again it's not about the church it's about the word of god in the bible mm. na mungu wako na sasa nikuulize uh, ukiangalia kanisa uangalie ba ba hapa kanisa hapa ba imejaa kabisa kwa nini watu wanachukia kanisa kulingana tu na wacha kwa mfano mmoja ama story yenye niliona mmoja mahali ngao imeandikwa kuna mtu mmoja mm-hmm. alienda kwa kanisa mm-hmm. akasa kwa kasimu yake on mm-hmm. simu ikapigwa mm-hmm kani sanzeme kashtuka huyo tu kanisa ni mje pasta huyo pasta kaka kamwangalia kamtolea macho omini wote hapa majirani wote kamtolea wewe aje unaona paka ile kabidi unajua ile ile kuogo kazima simu kaka hivi misa ilivoisha kamati kamfata watu wote msimu na fau zime simu ile akatoka pale na stress Uh, akaenda ba na ilikuwa tu mistake tu ili hapo yeah. nalisahau ili alichelewa kanisa ni fasta fasta kasoko kuzima simu mm. msa kaenda ba mm. ba kufika kwa ba kwa bado ana shake ile anakumbuka ai nimeje mbara sana nime nime disappoint watu mm-hmm. kanisa ni heshima nimevunja paka pasta amekasirika sasa kupo ile bia ana shake kushika hivi ikavunjika yeah. alikuwa bado ana shake mm. Bavunjika neighbor neba wake akasimama ba ah, pole pole kwa nanani pale akamsongeshea aka futafuta wewe atakajambiwa akafutafuta akachukua nani ule neba wake akamba mpe mbili mm. akamshika uh, bega akamba bro hizo 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 kosa lakini mm. sijali na hapo ni accident mpe mbili ule weta naye kuja uh, manager alivona naye akamwambia weta hiyo simlipisha mm. sawa So everyone alikuwa around. Everyone <laughs> 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 everyone alikuwa around. Akampele. Ah, iko sawa bro. Yeah. Anything you do have uko sawa? Mm. You want to talk? Uko na shida yote pengine leo. Is in feel free bro. Iko mm. sijali kabisa. Mm-hmm. So mse akatoka pale akaenda home lakini akaongeza picha mbili. Huko ni kwa dambi lakini these guys are more welcoming they are friendly they are brothers and they are. so i would say uh, ni nini haswa sasa inakosa kwa nini why, why do you think most uh, people in the church are well, judgmental ama ama same what is the issue because uh, uh, kulingana vile umesema hiyo ni kweli um, kanisani kuna ile judgmental mingi. Ni nini haswa inaleta hiyo story? Yaani mtu anataka kuonyesha maisha tofauti kwa kanisa au oh, but labda sehemu mwingine. Ukweli ni kuwa uh, katika wasengenyaji namba 1 wanapatikana kanisani. Mm wenye roho mbaya kabisa kabisa roho mbaya namba 1 ni wote patikana kanisani na kama unapatikana kanisani wale wa kanisa 
wa mbaya sana 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 mtoto wa mwana apita hapa kidogo mbaya mwangalia ule azantu kanisa shiri ni alitoa mimba ndugu yake so i will say ni maybe tuseme holier than thou i don't know ni sema they think and, they are holier than ama ni is it uh, everyone or yani watu wote kanisa the sad part si wote the sad part na kwanga wale wenye labda kama wazee wa kanisa ama mama kanisa the top organ yenye zile wenye wale wana wenye una wa respect mm. una grow kijua labda hata mimi nikomzee ndaka nikomzee kanisa mm-hmm. lakini ungana mzee kanisa tabia zake na eh bana we mimi unakuta hapa na mimi sitaki kwa mzee so hiyo ndio kitu moja inafanya watu wengi wana wanasema role models wa wako actually mm-hmm. unapata everybody akiwa mdogo kama mtu mm-hmm. mkijana wako ndaka 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 kwa kama daddy mm-hmm. until i realize mm, daddy ni useless kwa hivyo watu hawaski vile wanaambiwa wanaangalia kile ambacho kinafanya yes yes yeah, mtoto <coughs> mtoto kitu kwanza anaangalia anaangalia ana mtoto uko na kisa na in fact uh, akicheza kama na nani na paka kama na umbo atakuta yeah, whatever ni, they could be friends they are angalia their actions unaelewa so mm. mtoto aki grow mm. sana sana yeye maneno sawa lakini actions kwanza mm. ukija nyumbani kila saa umelewa lafu mwambie usikunye pombe mm. atakusikia hawezi hawezi mtu kumbe wewe uko mlevi anacheka ana joke huyu haya sasa niko na swali fulani hapa yeah. eh tuliko introduction introduction kuweza kufahamiana zaidi na kuelewa mambo kidogo yeah. sasa ningependa kuuliza yeah. wewe vile ushaisikia ushaisikia mtu akihubiri kuhusu kuokoka na nini na nini na nini ndio yeah, ndio yeah. eh kulingana na wewe wewe unaona kuokoka ni nini like kuokolewa ni nini kulingana na ki, uh, kikristo kuokoka ni nini yani um, una layman's understanding mtu ambaye uko ambaye hayuko huko kanisani ya... tukienda kwa Kiswahili sanif kuokoka ni kutokana ku kutoka uh, uona ile kama utakuzama mm. halafu uokolewe mhm yani sina la mzizi ya kuokoka kuokolewa ni inatoka ni shina ni moja So ni, ni ni act of saving someone kumtoa from mahali kwenye alikuwa ni pabaya kumweka mali pazuri. Sasa kuokoka nao kwa Yesu is it the same concept ama ni nini? Ukisikia Yesu anaokoa ya maanisha nini? It means amekutoa from somewhere kwenye alikuwa ni pabaya to a better place na anaifanya kivipi? Tuseme kusema kwa mfano, huu ni jamaa anataka kuokoka. Hmm. Ni nini? ni taratibu zipi anahitaji kujua kulingana na vile unaelewa chini ya mimi everything in, in uh, every world is one psychologically mm-hmm. so the first thing you must admit psychologically mm-hmm. spiritually because mm-hmm. psychology na spirit na spirits na kwanga school linked hivyo uh, kwanza lazima ni ni ni, ni kubali na kwa maana kwa maneno kwa maneno ni muhimu kwa sababu nao uh, uh, chenye unachoongea wewe ndio watu uh, not watu but again any idea start from mm. what thinking then we term ke same question tenda Mombasa ama whatever so mm-hmm. it's going linked maneno na fikra so kwanza kwa fikra yako na kutamka kwako useme eh, nimeokoka mm-hmm. then hii ina maana so inaanza kwa akili inaanza kwa roho inaanza kwa mdomo wapi zinaendanga uh, i think hata kama itaanza kwa mdomo lazima ishe kwa 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 akili. Mm-hmm. Unaelewa? Mm-hmm. Because now it's internal. Ndomo si hapa tu. Nasema anaja na bado uko busy hapa. Mm-hmm. Lakini mpaka useme ah, acha niende sasa take your action. Mm-hmm. Ni action ni ni, ni, ni ni coordination ya brain na body. Mhm. Ni sasa utoke uende. Aha. Mm-hmm. Sasa kuna kitu hapo umesema na watu wengi hata wakifahamu. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu vile ume explain is very very important. Kuokoka yenyewe ni a decision. Hmm. But you see most people don't make the decision wanaiongea tu. Ni kama kwamba niseme uh, oh yeah, um, nataka kunywa maji ama na, na kunywa maji well naweza sema na kunywa maji hmm. but it's just a saying but am I really drinking water? Yeah, not no, na? Hmm. Ama naweza sema oh yeah, bro nakuja nakuja na umekaa tu hapa. Eh, unaelewa. So salvation is hmm. a thing ambayo inaanzia a decision. Na hiyo decision inaanzia kwa mind, mind first, first then ukishaelewa mm. ndio inakuja kwa moyo mm. ikishatoka kwa moyo ndio sasa confession 
confess na car real because na car iko iko fully iko fully functional jo yes. ime iko iko yeah. nikikupa mfano kwa, kwa mfano ukitaka size ku kuoa mwanamke uh, there are five things lazima ufanye jambo la kwanza lazima you realize that hey boss niko lonely so mm. without realization that niko peke yangu uh, well how to itaji mtu ara kama it's not about nikopeke yango but mm. i want to have this one yes. for a particular reason kwa you yeah. acknowledge kuwa i need this person uh, yeah i'm yeah. in need of yeah. this yes. person hiyo yes. ndio decision yeah. ya kwanza. kwanza decision ya pili ni when the tenant unatafuta msichana kwa barabara enjoy when we found bana kwanza you search Mm. Unaangalia mtaani, unauliza maboys au yanionyeshe nionyeshe umesikia mm. picha hapa na pale online nini nini unatafuta. Mm. Ukishatafuta humuoni hapo na bia enjoy when bibi yangu. Hapana. Mm. Unamsoma, unamuelewa. Mm. Muelewa. Sabu unaweza chukua msichana kumbe awe ni kiruka njia. Awe pia ni mwizi, awe ni nini, awe ameolewa. Lazima umuelewe ujue awe compatible. Mm that is the third thing kuelewa yeah. mm. na baada ya kuelewa ndio mm. sasa unafungulia roho yako sasa mm. juu kuna madem wengi kwa barabara wa rembo lakini wezi endo ukipenda tu dem juu umeona amepita barabarani mrembo alafu ushampenda zipi true ndio sasa unafungulia roho yako unampenda mm. na ukishampenda the final thing after kumpenda ni nini kumweleza sasa mm. so this is the same formula of salvation yeah. kwanza eh, you first understand mimi yenyewe mimi ni mwenye dhambi number one. Mm. shida watu wengi hawajaele hata ni wenye dhambi <laughs> i think wanajua na dhambi by the way naweza kuambia ukweli kuna mm. mtu anafikiri juu sije huwa mtu mimi mm. hakuna kitu nafanya kwa nini si ni wenye dhambi ana simu hiyo hiyo ndogo ndogo nafanya si kitu si kitu unaona mm. so lazima kwanza wewe mwenye mimi mwenye dhambi number two, okay kama ni mwenye dhambi eh, wenye dhambi watafanyika nini unajua Mungu ndio mwenye uhai. So kama Mungu amekuambia ah ondoka mbali na mimi basi umeondoka mbali na uhai. So meaning kama wewe ni mwenye dhambi basi unajua utakufa. Kwa hivyo kama utakufa basi wasikia kuna jamaa naye ambaye anaitwa Yesu alikuja ni akakufa. Hmm. So kama yeye alikufa basi hai, e, alikufa kwa sababu gani? Unajua watu wengine wanasikia hii. Hmm. Yesu alikufa na basi Mm. Si bora nilijua Yesu alikufa na nikasema ale maneno. Mm. Bado. Tukifuata ile analogy ya kuoana, mm. tunakuja kwa tatu kuelewa. Mm. Reason. Mm. What was the reason? Nimependa venye umesema ni mtu you follow logic. Mm. And you find most people in church even wa Kristo wengi ambao tuita wa Kristo mm. hawana hiyo logic. Yaani ukiuliza mtu okay uko kanisani umeokoka. Okay mm. tell me why? Ah mm. jumi niko huku na nimezaliwa hapa. Nimezaliwa hapa nimekoka. <laughs> so kwanza wewe umezaliwa. In fact utakokosana na wakristo wengi eh. anza mza maswali ya dini. Ya wapendi. Wapendi kabisa. Wapendi. Jo mtu haelewi why am I even a Christian in the first place. Kitu moja na I admire sana na watu wa unajua sema tu most madini tu nyingi. Mm-hmm. Is that mtu most of them they follow after intensively learning one one thing or another no, no, no. it may be right or wrong but yeah. it, to some point they read a lot they in read whatever lot. they sure. believe hata yeah. iwe ni mtu anasoma sijui ni yeah. lakini kuna shida na wakristo wakristo saa zingine wanaingia tu bora anajua tu si tuko and i think is because unajua mm. shetani pia naye na confusion zake jo watu wakijua kweli pia they are set free at some point am i think to one assume to as long as nimesema nimekoka ya is done eh ama nimeandika kwa cv mimi ni christian basi hiyo naenda church sunday mungu ataona hiyo cv ya say ah oh naenda church sunday basi basi so sasa we have understanding understanding why did jesus have to die it is because ningekufa ningelipa mshahara wangu wa dhambi sawa lakini kufufuka ingekuwa balaa you see na hiyo nguvu sina roho mtakatifu yesu kwa yeye yeah, alikuwa na roho mtakatifu akikufa ange alipa mshahara wa dhambi yeah. ambao si wake bali ni wetu but yeye yeah, alikuwa na nguvu za kujifufua yeah. that's that's the understanding part sasa hapa iko kwa akili naona vile unasikia habari fulani inaingia kwa akili lakini ndio ingie kwa roho yeah. lazima uelewe ni kama formula tu 
lazima uelewe then ukishaelewa ni kuamini so there is somebody who understands the whole picture of salvation bro ha, ha, uh, next week baba mm-hmm. si leo hii wiki <laughs> oh, no, no. and then finally confession uh, ukitaka of course confession ni ni kama vile ume tuseme kwa kwa swimming pool umeanza kuzama kwa maji what happens is you first realize yenye nazama mm. so the second thing ni ukiwa pale unazama unaangalia kuna lifeguard karibu mm. ukishamuona you first understand who oh, lifeguard kweli anaweza nisaidia ama ni mtoto mm. you nikiita mtoto aruke tunakufa wote mm. so unamwelewa the third thing ni ukishamuelewa you now i, I believe in your heart that umse anaweza nisave ndio unaitana usipoitana anaweza sijue anaweza sijue unaona mm. so pia salvation ni when it's calling na leo na hapo ndio watu wengi pia you find that um, watu wengi hawajawahi elewa hii and i don't know why but there um, if you see for example mtu akikuchukia um the akilewa vizuri atakwambia atakwambia <laughs> bro ame skupendi bro <laughs> sababu yale amejaa kwa moyo yatatoka yeah. na kinyo yeah. sasa pia salvation ni hivyo mm. yakishaja hapa sasa ndio mm. lakini ile ingine ya kuitana tu wa fake mm. and no wonder we have so many uh, fake 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 converts uh, sure. out there so now the other thing is um so now that most people hapendi kanisa maadili yanabadilika uh, what do you see is the future of the society mali naelekea kwa sababu if you see like for example Kenya kumekuwa na miswada tofauti tofauti ambayo imeachiliwa mm. mswada wa kwanza wa mashoga wasagaji mm. kitu ambayo hakuna mtu ashaifikiria by the way ushaifikiria Kenya kweli tuweza fika hapo yani on national tv <laughs> mimi nikikuwa nilikuwa najua society yetu kama Afrika ama Kenya mm. hatezi mpya shoga usaka, usagaji mm. tabia kama hizo nafasi mm. lakini since Kenya tumekuwa bado tunakolonia na wazungu mm. koloni mamboleo ya kuwa policy zetu size tunavyoongea mm. zimetengezwa na IMF mm-hmm. na World Bank mm. kwa sababu tumekopesha sana mpaka tumekuwa slave wao na tukikataa wanachotuambia tutanyimwa misaada <coughs> deni zao watazitisha tuwalipa haraka haraka na hatuna pesa Kenya mm-hmm. so tunaka tukomekuwa slaves Sisa, so wanakuambia mm. uh, tunaweza kukupa loan nyingine lakini mm. kubali tutoko kubali eh hey, hivi hivi ama utapata msaada fulani deni nakubali kwa hivyo hii set ni kwa hiari ni watu wame naweza sema ni hiari ah sikusukuma kwa sababu wameendekeza corruption No no hata nasema Ume. hapa kwa ushoga masagaji mm. sieti ni sieti ni maserikali zinafanya kwa kwa hiari yao ni kama wamefungwa mikono you see mm. kitu kibaya kinakunga na attraction sana mm. so the role government iko nayo toka siku zote ilikuwa ni kupinga mm. usagaji na ushoga ikiwa wanaweza ukakubali so unakuta ni rahisi watu waseme wale wachache wale kwako mm-hmm. tuseme kama walikuwa watu kumi ni rahisi mm-hmm. wa recruit wengine so baada ya kadhaa utaweza kuanza kuona ilikuwa kitu kipya ki, ki, ama kigeni but imekuwa kawaida kwa sababu kila siku watu wanazaliwa na wanarekrutiana mm-hmm. na unavokuwa sasa ukiona kitu ah, ikimbona ni kawaida wengine wanafata na hapa kwa serikali kui, kui, eh, kuifanya iwe legal sasa hapo ndo issue inakuja kwa sababu wa Kenya kumbuka tuko almost 30% uh, Christians mm-hmm. true Christians by the way mm-hmm. na wale wengine the fake fake Christians ambao bado kama another 20% mm-hmm. waislamu pia kibao mm-hmm. uh, is it yani Kenyans are very religious sana sana, no, sana, no. sana very um, ukitaka kujoni ukweli enda uhubiri hata kwa matatu au hautafukuzwa na mtu mm-hmm. ni kawaida sure. unaona lakini ulaya enda usimame tu ukaiweze <laughs> eh simama tu like kidogo utafukuzwa but the irony is hao ndo wamefundisha dini that's the irony now 
<laughs> Sasa, I don't know where Mali tulienda wrong as uh, Kenyans, but um, anyway, hiyo hiyo ni part moja. So where do you see the society heading? Miaka well, tuipe well, well, miaka 5 hiyo well, ama 10. 10 years to come walai sijui lakini tunaenda kubaya. Mm. Because kitu kibaya kiwa kama moto umeanza na fa uzimwe. Mm. Huu moto uzimwe na machua na watu hata wanachochea. Kuchochea ni mashirika ya nje. Mm. Saizi unajua ka, kama hapa Cambridge ilikuwa ikifanya hapa Cambridge. Mm. Na kuna mashirika mengine yenye kila Friday, I think either kan either kila Friday ilikuwa mama twice a month ama once a month. Mm. Mashoga wote kwa wanapewa pesa allowance. Mm. Eh, yeah, kwa wanapewa Si Cambridge kwa mtu hapa. Sasa hiyo walifunga ofisi yao. Si mashoga alikuwa wanafanya wanasafi wanapigwa bomba wasafishwe. Mm-hmm. Wanapewa hizo ma KJ hizo ma hizo nani hizo ma lubricants eh. Mm wanapona dawa shiga ni zingine na wanapoa allowance. Ati wasa washinga? I think hiyo time nikienda hapo. Sikabri ilikuwa tuko hapo hapo wakati hiyo walikuwa wanapima ndienda hapo kwa kanipia kits walikuwa ndio kwanza kupewa walifanya maridaribizi kits za mouth za HIV. Mm. So kulikuwa mwingine afanya kazi hapa kanita. Na kwa sababu kuna watu wengi na kaniza. Ah so anakuja hapa shida once a month ama every Friday. Si mm. mashoga. Huh? Eh yeah. so wana, wanapewa allowance kama ndio wana wanakuwa na kiburi sana kuna no, pesa fulani zinaingia kuna pesa zenye haya ma, maingio ma hupewa za ku promote hata mm. wewe kama una film na mm. unataka film yako ya sponsor pata pesa mingi sana hakuna film say ya uh, Netflix yenye nakosa ushoga the reason ni sikufanya hivyo itakubaliwa Netflix na, na reason, utapoa mm, pesa if you want mm, mm. hivyo so reason ya huu shoga kusukumwa na msagaji issue yake ni nini what is the end goal what do they want the end goal is to erode the society the end goal ukiangalia everything ni war between the the devil and god mm. uh, hawa watu wenye wana wanasukuma madili mabaya ni hayao hasa ni they are godly mm. uh, and they are and uh, shetani ni yake hasa ni kumudhi Mungu chochote anachokufanya kinyume Mungu akisema usibe yana kwambia iba Mm. akwambia wanaume na wanaume fa wao wanawake yada kwambia hapana sasa sinaona hiyo itapeleka society ikipungua kwa sababu <coughs> wanaume wanaume wanawake wanawake ku, kuana watoto hakuna society haitapungua kwa sababu uh, Mungu naye uh, ni nani wale wachache watakaozaa watazalia paka wale wengine <laughs> kitambo utakutaka dunia nzima kulikuwa na watu kama bilioni moja sasa hizi msijui mifika 11 billion i don't know i can't be sure ni ngapi i think kwa 8 by this year ndio 8 billion eh and already how 8 billion ndio wazae watu wawili wawili au moja moja already the numbers unakuta alafu na space already pia imetumika sana sababu hapo nyuma kwa tuna tunafaa to grow lakini size unakuta mashamba na space zimepungua so pia growth na faa pende pole pole So ni hard tuseme itafika time wati huko hakuna watu si kweli lakini tuseme matabia sasa pesta kwa ni mbaya kwa tena sasa hii nimeona kuna mswada fulani umepitishwa na Kome ambao amesema sijui kama umepita lakini ulikuwa proposed e, ilikuwa suggestion akapeleka e, e, parliament thing wajadili e, wakasema kuwa makahaba wa waruhusiwe wa, wa Ebu ebu sema kitu. <laughs> Ama hii ba, ni baadhi ya hizo vitu. Sinakwambia wana wana vitu kama hizo. Uh, serikali si coincidence. Si coincidence kwa sababu Lakini sio ni Mkristo. Kwa mmoja si Sinakwambia hasikwangi coincidence. Inakuanga ni kinaita rais pia ni. Sasa nyingine mimi ngitakujitolea lawama na za mtu mwingine afanye cha kitu. So serikali imesukuma kuhalalisha vitu hivyo za ushoga usagaji umalaya ufanye nini hizo zote zihalalishwe mm. so lazima itumie njia ambayo itakosa itakosa upinzani kama ch- chief justice wana kwa alisema hakuna mwenye alipinga nani alipinga hakuna apart from group fulani ya waislamu ndio aliandika mabango akazunga zunga siku moja mbili na wakachoka na wakalala na haka kipetisha bunge kipelu kwa bunge huo hiyo hiyo nani wajadili mm. watapitisha kwa sababu bunge nani na kontrol na nani rais Rais ana kontrol na nani? IMF na World Bank na ma, na hiyo hawa watu wengine wenye wanaokopesha pesa. So sasa uh, mfalme alikuwa hapa na bibi yake. Mm. Sasa wafikiri walikuwa wamekuja kufanya nini? Kwa sababu watu wana mambo mengi ambao wanazungumza. 
<laughs> King na Queen walikuja tembea, walikuja tembea akaona koloni yao ya kitambo na wakafurahi wenye bado wanawaabudu. Wako tu sawa, walikuja holiday. Kuna watu ambao wanazungumza kama mm. Ndura wa Ruingi anasema mm. sijui uh, walikuja sijui ku, kusafisha Freemason hizo nini zao, nini nini akasema kuwa walikuwa wameenda kule kunaitwa ni Macmillan eh uh, ambao kuna hiyo headquarters ya Freemason bla 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 story mingi sana uh, wewe unaamini hiyo story au story ambayo haina ushahidi siwezi yamini mm. eh na kinafai kuwa ina ushahidi kwa sababu hakisa utapataje ushahidi na kumfikia mfalme si rahisi pia wanasema alisema hilo lipo kama lipo laja <laughs> na <laughs> kama lipo kweli kuna watu wanaona kuna watu wenye wako hapo wa, wa, wanatendizo vitu mm. as in huwezi fikiri kuna vitu vingine zivicha mm. kuna vitu vingine Mungu aliviweka ni hard kukufichika kabisa kabisa kama kuwa mtu mm. hakuna mwenye amewahi pata clean mahada mm. ati uwe na kuna mtu mwenye ameona na kuna evidence uh, inakuanga ni mtu amekanyagia evidence mm. lakini iko mada and other things hazinanga clean shit ati umefanya vitu zako no one knows na kuna ushahidi haijawahi tokea na itatoa haitawahi tokea ni mtu tu amue tu mistaki kutoa shahidi mistaki kesi ama mehongo anyamaze hivyo au mwingine ameonekana baada ya fatiziwa auliwe pia yeye tukama hizo kupata hizo ushahidi lakini always kuna kuna ushahidi so kama yeye anafanyiza vitu Sini kuna watu kuna majirani kuna huko hapa neighbor wake kanisa hapa pengine ndivyo worshipers wewe huwezi jua hapa kinge amekuja amepaka magari zao hata kama hiyo siku lazima kuna watu waliwaona so uh, evidence zinakuwa haya sasa maswali ya mwisho mwisho tukamalizia ningependa kukuuliza dunia mali imefika e, ni kama inaelekea kikomo Uh, do you believe that dunia inaenda kuisha ama ipo ama kutendaje because kila mtu anasema hii dunia vile inaenda itaisha hii <laughs> Mungu aliyekasiri kubwa kwa maumbile yake dunia vinye mitengeza mwanzo mwisho mm. anajua kwenye maandisha sijui ni wapi lakini anasema siku moja kwake mm-hmm. ni siku sijui elfu moja siku moja elfu, elfu moja kwetu kwa kenga siku moja mm kumbe unasoma biblia <laughs> so yeye yeah, hata kisema pengine hatujui alafu katika siri ya kifo mwanzo na mwisho mm. ni yake peke yake mm. so labda ni kweli lakini sasa swali ni kuwa mm. sisi tunahesabu siku vyenye tunaenda lakini chenye najua ni Mungu kule yeah, yuko ha, ha, haiko sisi tuko na siku na mchana siku zinaenda kule ye, kwenye yeye yuko hakuna hiyo timing walewa hausemati yeye uh, uh, 2019 she 2010 uh, uh, yeye yuko out of yani sisi ametuwekea ametuwekea vitu zenye yeye mwenye hayu, hayuko ndio maana iko superior than us mm-hmm. sisi tuko limited into time yeye haiko limited to time so what do you think of the world so, uh, so world ending ndio na gonna check kwa sababu nani siri yake kwa sababu kwake yeye labda ampanga miaka 2020 labda au miaka milioni moja kwake ambayo kwa dunia nchini Kuli miaka mingapi sijui. So hapana <laughs> <laughs> ni siri yake ha, hatuna siwezi sema hapi. Ama sema, labda vitu zinazoenda zikageuka nini zikakuwa. Ni nini yana na wana na sai kwa alarming sana. No, like um, ukiangalia mm. kwa mfano mm. s, eh, dunia nzima mm. kumekuwa na mivutano tofauti tofauti yani the world is in distress mm. number one, mm. ukiangalia dunia nzima mm. saa hizi kumekuwa na unaona this activism mm. Mm. ambazo ni very weird mm. kama hizo tumesema za mashogo wasagaji mm. e, e, hii mambo ya abortions zimekuwa nyingi sana mm. uh, crime rate imepanda sana mm. uh, mitetemeko ya ardhi na weird things kama hizo zimekuwa zaidi kuliko hata vile ilikuwa mm. naona kama ile ilikuwa Libya juzi mm. vile jumzime imebebwa chini ile ilikuwa uh, ta- taki nini you know these Mi are chenye things sema ni chenye naweza sema ni very different sana god has his own way of resetting things mm. he can if he wants he can even reset the human race mm. he can reset kenya if he wants within a second mm. he can reset anything Uh, the whole world mm. sina say about that but i najua akisema kenya mmenichosha 
nyi kwa reset ni faster si ni mm. kwa kitu ni ile kitu yote imeisha tu Kenya yote hii mm. tsunami inasafisha Mombasa nzima na sekunde 10 5 hakuna Mombasa tena mm. the whole of island inachapwa na na reset mm. he has done that several places kwa bible kuna, mm. kuna mahali kama Sodoma kuna wapi na wapi yenye aliamua tu i place imenichosha bwana mm. so for areas naweza sema akichoka anaweza ku reset the whole world sina say i think in siri yake Okay, okay, you're you're point is good. So, parting shot concerning um u Kristo, wa Kristo kulingana na wewe wanafa kubadilisha nini na nini na nini? Ndio at least uh, they profess what they I think what is wa Kristo shida yao kubwa ni kuwa yeye uh, wanaenda into principles na rules zilizowekwa na makanisa yao ama na ma, ma, ama uh, to the traditions ama zenye zimekuwa na makanisa yao ama 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 huyo pastor wao mm-hmm. so that's what they believe in mm-hmm. hawa ingi ndani wakazichanganua na wakasema biblia na wakajua so wasome maandiko zaidi wako critic wa yani wakuwe more of learning what god is saying critic, men, yes that's what men are saying kwa sababu men wa maanisha makanisa wote kenda kwa history kwa manufaa yao wenyewe ukangalia from the far, very first day kanisa la kwanza litengezwa mm-hmm. from kanisa la kwanza ndio likazaa makanisa milioni moja size na everyone wanapokosana mm-hmm. anaenda kutengeza kanisa lake kwa manufaa yake mm-hmm. na tofauti yake na ukuta huyu kama huyu anafanya hiki mimi sifanyi nitafanya hivi ili nipate wateja wengi mm-hmm. so everyone katika kutengeza makanisa alikuwa selfish mm-hmm. na amekuwa amefanya ame maksudi kutofautisha na mengine ndio asiambua amekopi mm-hmm. lakini alikuwa ni yake hasa ni Mungu ama ni yeye kwanza uta notice kwanza ilikuwa ni yeye mm. Mungu hakuwa hakuwa fast kwa sababu ni Mungu wangu reconcile kama ni watu wa Mungu mbona mm. alikuwa sana from kanisa la kwanza ukatengeza mkasa hata leo hii e, kuna kanisa hapa mimi ni pastor ni pastor kwa sana utanisha lako huko kesho na mimi langu na ili nisionekane umenikopi utageuza vitu kwako mm. unaelewa i think that's a very good so point. the point ya kwanza ni kwamba everyone was selfish kutengeza makanisa mm. So that's why mimi siangalia hizo makanisa na angalia the word of God and whatever they are preaching na kama ina make sense na mali si wrong na sema ah uh, huyu amesema hii yake lakini haina mizizi mm. haina haina ushahidi kwa biblia kwa hivyo usizifata oh. na whatever they are doing it's wrong lakini people don't want to question that akiwa okay, pastor akisema kunya pombe si shida mm. watakunywa mm. so leo makanisa yenyewe kwa kunya si shida ni hivyo kwa sababu um, uh, tradition zao wanasema ah sisi si tunakunywa mm lakini ukienda kwa maandishi inasemaje ba sisi tunaambiwa tukunywe mm. na wengine akiambia fulani atambua afanye japokuwa maandishi labda yanasema tofauti bado bado rafanye so mm. for me i will urge them to be critic wasome biblia mm. uh, wa question ma pastor zao waende history za found wajue kanisa lile limetengeswa aje mm. kina mi, kwa misingi ipi na Mungu anataka nini hasa wow. zaidi ya wote si kanisa zaidi yote ni Mungu wow. mjue Mungu na wafuate chenye Mungu anataka Awesome awesome. Yeah. Huyo ni jama moja ambaye ametuelezea vile wa Kristo na kuishi. Kitu ambacho ambacho nimefurahia na vile umezungumza ni kuwa bottom line ni mm-hmm. uh, vile tu anaitwa nani um, Solomon alisema mm-hmm. this is the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. True. And that actually is the same thing ambayo kali dapo ametuambia yeah. the same same thing so kama wewe unafuata watu unafuata traditions unafuata kanisa fulani au nini ask yourself je hiyo kanisa inafuata Mungu and if wanafuata Mungu wanasoma the same bible angalia ni where are the people differing and you will find that wote wawili mm. wanatoroka hiyo sehemu mm. <laughs> ni kama vile eh, catholic watasema uh, usioe kwa nini na Biblia imesema eh, jazeni dunia eh, eh, jazeni dunia kuna sehemu inasema kuna siku za mwisho watu wataambia wengine msioe na msile nyama kwa nini imeandikwa lakini mnasema hii isifanyike it's just because watu wanataka kufuata tradition zao lakini sote tungesoma Biblia tufuate vile Biblia inasema basi sidhani kungekuwa na hii migawanyiko na hmm. pia watu wangekuwa melo kweli na pia wale ambao hawaja kuwa wa Kristo wale waja amini Kristo hawangekuwa na dharau eh, Kristo sa zingine madharau kwa ya Kristo inakuwa kwa sababu watu wanaona kuna upuzi mwingi sana kwa hii dini lakini haswa kitu moja ambao ningesema ni Yesu akuleta dini Yesu alileta imani na ndio unaona wale ambao wana imani 
ni wachache wale wanafuata dini ni wengi <laughs> so dini ni traditions imani ni faith na without faith there is impossible to please god so nashukuru sana kwa kipindi at least uh, tumezungumza Khalid yeah, nashukuru bana kwa na wakati mzuri na pia nyinyi mnatufuata pale zidini kutufuata na msubscribe aya